So it's early evening over here in Magaluf. We're going to take a walk in this video along the beach. In fact, we're going to get blown along the beach because it is pretty windy. We're going to see how busy it is. We're going to take a walk down through the centre of the resort, up through the strip and down into Palma Nova too. We've got some slightly bizarre weather this evening. The wind is blowing a gale. It's very, very warm though. The temperature's in the high 20s for early June, which actually is quite nice. I'm quite enjoying it. It's beginning to feel like summer, but is it looking like summer let's go and find out so I'm just coming off the beach here we're just heading up past Bondi Beach it is very busy in there this evening I always recommend getting table reservations in some of these most popular restaurants as well because I can see almost every single table has been taken so I'm just turning around here I'm just having a little look at the beach you can see the sky is looking a little bit brown it's looking a little bit gray so I'm hoping I've got the, my back to the wind here as we're coming up along Magaluf beachfront here. We can still see that Hadley's Club is still closed, which is quite unusual. I thought it would have been open by now for June. I wonder when it is actually going to open, or if it's going to open, it should be opening. But look right in front of me here. And I have to zoom in. We do have a very happy hen party going out tonight in Magaluf. But we're going to keep on walking up along the beachfront. So we've got this kind of mid part of Magaluf, which is looking very quiet. Because, well, we've got these beach clubs that are still closed. I'm not even sure whether the Breezer Beach Club has opened at all today. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. Let me know in comments. But this is very much the quieter end of the resort, which is particularly nice for families coming over here as well. As we all know, Magaluf is very much a, a family resort now. But check this out. Check out this really lovely beachside restaurant here. So right outside of Folly's Beach Club, we've got quite a few people in this evening. It's looking quite nice. Quite a few people coming in for drinks and for food. Let's go and take a quick look at the menu. Let's go and see what the prices are like over at one of these beach clubs for this year. I must admit I have absolutely no idea. So I'm just going to run the, the camera down the menu board here. Feel free to pause the video. To give you an idea, main courses here around 25 euros. Paella's around 25.50. Wondering if that's actually the most expensive I've seen on the island this summer. Um, we've got burgers here from 21 euros. A margarita pizza which is always my price test here from 16 euros 50 and some other smaller dishes too cocktails importantly how much are cocktails over here i can see we have um cocktails for 11 euros and mocktails non-alcoholic cocktails for eight just to give you an idea Looks very nice though, plenty of really nice seating actually. Very, very different to what we're used to over here in Magaluf. Still quite noisy though. So we're just coming down the side of the Daiquiri Palace here. It looks like it's kind of opening up, but it's not actually open this evening. I don't know if it opens during the day. And so they've got their me menu boards that are chalked up too. Cocktails over here are nine euros. A little bit cheaper, quite good to see. And you can just see how windy it is over here in Magaluf this evening. And we're coming up towards Tom Brown's here, right in front of me. It's looking very busy in here tonight. Now you may remember I did come in here with the MacMaster when he was filming over here in Mallorca. I'll drop a link to that video in the description text below this video as well. If you want to find out more about the menu in Tom Brown's, go and check out his video. I actually also have a video from there. I haven't actually edited it or published it yet either. I'll put that out during the course of the summer. But um, you can just see how busy it is over here in Tom Brown's. And that's probably because, well, this restaurant offers really good value. A lovely chilled out vibe over here in the Zero Boathouse. I can't see many people in there ton tonight, which I'm actually quite surprised about. And you can see actually the menu is looking quite good over here. You've got, men you've got food here from 16 euros. Tapas dishes range from around 3.50. I imagine this place is very, very nice during the day, actually, that they've got some shade. 
but it's absolutely lovely. So we're coming down past the Puerto Rico restaurant. They've got their, their windproofing screens down tonight just because of the winds. Normally these are pulled up and uh, you do have open views down here, but it's looking very, very calm. I have to say, some of the renovations that have been da made down here on the Magaluf beachfront are very, very nice. But super nice. And just to give you a quick idea of the prices down here too, around, around 14 euros for a, for a pizza, paellas around 20 euros per person, burgers you can get with fries from 8 euros 25, so it's not too bad. Yeah, look, looking really lovely in there actually. Very, very nice. Now we're coming up past the very, very noisy Anchor the Verde. It looks like they've got a wedding party in tonight. If this was your wedding, if you're at that party, congratulations. Looks like you're having a really good time, Mr. and Mrs. Connolly. Love it. Good times over here in Magaluf this evening. Okay, we're going to just have a quick look up by Nikki Beach. Let's go and see what the atmosphere is like down here, down at Nikki Beach tonight. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna head down through the resort. And I see a lot of people dressed in white over at Nikki Beach this evening. Of course, Nikki Beach are quite famous for their white parties. I can see the hotel right in front of me as well is looking quite busy too. Lots of people out having dinner tonight. So we can see far off in the distance, the lights are just starting to come on in the resort. What time is it? We are coming up to, it is exactly nine o'clock. So let's head off the beachfront now and head on down through the resort. Just coming up past the Titanic, Got a few people in this evening. Of course, don't forget all the shops also stay open down here in Magaluf until around 10 p.m. Especially if you want to nip in and get some snacks if you're still hungry after dinner. And I'm just looking up at the sky here. The sky is actually brown. This has to be sand in the clouds here coming up from North Africa. It'll explain the high temperatures that we've had over here in Mallorca at the end of this week. But anyway, look where I'm coming up to. And I'm coming up to a very vibrant Britannia pub. We've got loads of people sitting out this evening having a few drinks. It's actually the busiest I've seen it all year. I'm not sure if the footballer is on or if some rugby is on. I'm just going to take a quick look over at the piano bar too. Looking good over this way as well. Should we just go and quickly check out Benny Hills too? Let's go and have a quick look. Because there's not so much to see as I turn right here. We've got plenty of shops. But I know you're pretty interested in the bar. So we're going to head on around the corner. I'm just go and check out and see how the guys over at Benny Hills are doing. This. So I'm just coming up to the inside um, by Melia on my right. You can see the, the swimming pool at the top. Nice to see actually there's an udon noodle bar over here too. Didn't know that was actually here. So that's gonna be quite a good addition over here in Magaluf. I'm probably gonna come down and eat here myself. I absolutely love the food. There is another udon over in Fan Shopping Centre near the airport. In case you need a quick bite to eat before getting your flight, you can do over there. Anyway, let's keep heading down because on my left here I can see Jokers is already open too. And I can see right across the road there are quite a few people down in Jokers too. Anyway, let's cross the road. They've got Jokers too right next door and then across the way from there is Benny Hills. And it is looking very, very busy down there in Jokers tonight. There are quite a few people down. I always say it's looking very, very busy because of course following the winter over here in Mallorca and, and before everything opens up everything just looks so dead it's nice to see there's some life down there it's nice to see there's we've got holiday makers down here and it's looking lively Jokers too is not so busy but I can see we've got some pool tables down there and we are sliding our way up to Coco Bongos there must be some major football match going on tonight. We've got lots of people down there this evening. Lots of tables are filled, a few empty ones, but quite a few people in there. 
And I can see tonight what is going on. We've got uh, England v Iceland, Germany v Greece. We've got lots of uh, international games being played. And what's different about Coco Bongos is that they also do have the commentary as well from the football. They're not just playing the match with uh, music on top. So if you want to hear what's going on in the match, that's a good place to go. I suspect it's going to be the same over at Benny Hills. Let's go and have a look. And we've got quite a few people in tonight also watching the football over here in Benny Hills. Also film some content over here with the McMaster too. Make sure you check out, check out that video. I'll drop a few links below if you want to find out what breakfast was like over here. This is the most busy as well. Sinkies has been. I do believe there's a Scottish game playing tonight. Scotland v Finland. But you know what though, you can still find a little bit of Spanish food over here in, in Mangaloo from outside the JB restaurant. Check this out, 12 euros 50 for a menu del dia, fantastic. And you can see where I am, I've got BCM's nightclub to my right, also right in front of the hotel, Samos here too. Well, BCM isn't going to open until much, much later. These clubs come alive from around midnight. If you go in much earlier than that, you're going to find them to be pretty empty. And check out as well, we've got the Steakhouse at Magaluf. We're coming up round by Morgan's too. We've got Zeppelin's right next door. And I have a feeling they're showing the football here too. Yes, they are. And my goodness, it is busy. I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the pubs now are going to be heading on up to the strip later on, which is where we are headed now. Coming up on the way to the beach, we've got Pedro's Steakhouse. Looking quite good over here lots of uh, fresh meat ready to cook lamb chops fillet steak sirloin place to come i think if you want some grilled meat so just about a half an hour earlier it was a lot busier down here of course people uh, going back to the hotels if they're with families if they're out with the kids a lot of people are now going back to the hotels we're going to start seeing this area down here getting a lot busier as we go on into the evening but you can see the lights have come on now down on Magaluf Strip. So let's take a walk up through now. We are at about, what time is it now? 20 past nine. So, so at this time of night, Magaluf Strip is just starting to open up. It's not busy at all. Check out the video that I filmed last weekend over in Magaluf and I came down here with Kevin with the Scotsman in Tenerife. We were down here at around 11 30, 12 o'clock. I do believe you'll see the difference. It's very, very quiet now. We've got a few people out having a few drinks. Let's keep walking up. That taxi nearly took me out then. That was a close shave. We nearly saw a sudden end to my York under the sun, thanks there taxi driver. Word of warning, don't walk in the middle of the road. So we're just coming up past the night flight and I can see people walking down the strip of, of every age this evening. It's not just the party goers yet. And to be honest, I think most people are having dinner at the moment. Of course, that is all going to change. And look, we have no sign on. We don't have the Alex's sign on just yet this evening. Have those bars opened up yet? We'll have a quick look right. And yes, they do look like they are open at the moment. A few people down here, I have to say. Let's come past the tattoo shop. And a Chinese. That's all the lemons. So from here, from Mulligan's, we're going to take a right, we're going to take a left, and we're going to head down towards Palmer Nova. But look, we've got some lovely restaurants down here. There's a real mix of places to go out, out and eat over here in Magaluf. 
to eat and drink. Let me get out of the road. Just coming up past the Fergus Tobago, Fergus Star Tobago Hotel, which is literally three minutes walk from Magaluf Strip, and we are entering an area of Mallorca that has a totally different atmosphere and you can just feel the calm that has come down over Palma Nova as I take a left down into the resort after the hecticness from over on the Magaluf Strip. I'm just looking over towards the blue bar here that's looking quite busy. And we've made it down here to San Matias Beach over in Palma Nova. My goodness me, anyone that's saying that Magaluf is dead at the moment is wrong. The bars and the restaurants look pretty busy to me at nine o'clock in the night. And of course, we're well, not going to find Magaluf at a strip much busier until midnight, one o'clock in the morning. Don't forget to check out some of the content I made last summer over in Magaluf if you want to see what it looks like in peak season. Kevin, the Scotsman in Tenerife, has just been over as well. Make sure you check out his videos from the area. I'll drop a link to his videos below too. But from over here, at, well, just gone 9.30. Don't forget, you can find me in the Facebook group and my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun, and I shall see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.